everybody it's me again with another get ready with me I, I know I are you getting sick of them but this time it's going to be just a little bit different I am going to do a few experiments and I will definitely be the guinea pig for you guys <laughs> I am going to I have never tried winged eyeliner so I'm going to try that today and I'm going to try another um, shadow thing where I saw somebody do this. Now, I have no idea how it's going to look. They do like three-fourths of their eyelid in the dark color and then a fourth of it in the light color and then kind of blend it together. I'm going to try that today just to see how it looks. You know, if it looks crappy when I'm done, I'll just redo it, you know, um, off camera once we're, once we're done. You know, but I thought, what the heck, I would try it. I have got two, um, well, I'll get to that. Let's let's just start from scratch. I am going to, I already moisturized my face. I washed my hair, colored my hair today. Um, it looks really dark, but it doesn't last that way. It It's called, let's see, what is it called? This looks really bad because I forgot and I threw it in the garbage. So it's got dye on it. Um, it is called it's Clairol Nice and Easy, which is my absolute favorite. Plus, it's pretty cheap, you know, compared to a lot of the other ones. But I love the way the um, conditioner smells, so that's why I use this. But it is 5C117D Natural Medium Cool Brown, which is kind of a new shade. I don't think that they had the cool brown before. They always had like natural medium or, you know, just whatever, but it never said cool in there. And that's what drew me to this because I am cool shaded. So um, anyway, I am going, anyway, I colored it and you can tell, I can really tell it in the mirror how different the colors are, you know, especially where it's gray. It's almost got kind of a reddish tint right here. Um... That's where I'm most gray, is where it is the the different shaded. So it's almost like it's highlighted. Hey, and I got it for the price of the box. <laughs> so anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and use my primer. And today I thought I would use the CoverGirl Outlast All Day Primer. fingers okay and if I'm looking this way I'm looking in the mirror because you guys know I'm blind <laughs> I'm um, something right there I'm about half blind without my glasses so I have to look in a mirror up close with the magnifying mirror. Okay. That part's done. Now for um, foundation, I'm going to use today, I'm going to use the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. It's 01 Creamy Vanilla. I really like that this has got a pump. I'm going to do two pumps. We'll see. Looking at it right away, it sure does look dark. And I'm going to use my um, blending sponge. It's This really looks just does not look like it it matches my skin tone this creamy vanilla but it was the I ordered it online um, quite a while ago and I just never really used it yeah I don't think this matches my skin tone at all I don't know what the camera is picking up but Just 
um, looking in my mirror, it just does not look right. I don't like the way this is blending with the sponge either. I think I used my brush last time I used it. I can't remember. It almost looks like there's too much on the sponge. Get this side, maybe soak up some of that extra. Hope you guys could see this okay. See, look how yellow it looks on my skin. I just don't think this is the right shade. I'm thinking I will... Dang it, I don't know what I ever do with my... My, um receipts. I was thinking I'd take this back. I know I got it off of Walgreens.com. There it is. What do you think? Does it make my skin look really yellow? Um, I do not have a yellow tint to my skin and this just, and two pumps was way too much. I think I need a different shade in this. I just don't think that looks right. Anyway, let's go on to my brows. And today I'm going to use the... Um, Miranesso. I've had this a while. And I, I just really got to using it. I've been using all my other stuff. So I unpackaged this one the other day. Um, I had it in my drawer a long time. It's just I have never used it. So, but... I used it the other day and I love it. So here goes with the brows. Um, I think I just found my holy grail. It's got the little, it's got the little short um, spoolie, which I love. It's even, you know, a little bit darker than, than the stuff I had been using. So I really, just, I really like it. Hoping you guys can see me well enough. This, um, I just feel like I need to have it out that far. Otherwise, I uh, tend to lean in too much to, to my mirror and you lose me. There you go, there's my eyebrows. I have a hair on there though, okay. All right. All right, on to the eyeshadow. And what I'm gonna use today for everything, for my highlighter, for my blush, and for my eyeshadow is my uh, Rainforest After Dark by Tarte. I love this, but I don't use it enough, so I want to start um, grabbing it more. All right, so let's 
go with, for an all over color, I'm going to go with this color here and just do that all over my lid, kind of. Ah, crap. I didn't use my, my shadow stuff, but I did put um, primer on my eyes and I did put foundation on my eyes, so that should be good enough. And I'm not going anywhere anyway. This is just for you guys. Clean that brush. Okay, now for the dark shade, I just don't know what I want to use. If I want to use brown or if I want to use this purple color, which is absolutely beautiful. I think I'm going to use the purple. Just, you know, like I said, this is an experiment, experiment, right? I'm hoping you can see me. And I'm going to start about halfway. And I'm going to go up into my crease. And I'm going to bring it over. So about three-fourths of my eyelid is covered. God, that's a pretty color. Let's do the other eye, too. Maybe I should do one eye at a time, but I'm not going to. Boy, there isn't much light on this. I need a light over on my right side, I think. Not my right side, my left side. Duh. All right, that is the first color. Or the second color, I should say. Okay, clean brush here. And we will go in. I'm going to go, this is the color I just used. I'm going to go in with the gold and do the inner. inner third. Kind of sweep that over the edge there a little bit. Bring that around to the corner. I don't know if I like it so far, but I'm not, I haven't blended it yet either, so I'm using one of these that came in like a glossy box or something, and I clean my brushes off after I use them every time. So they're somewhat clean. So now I'm going to go in with the blending brush. And kind of try to blend that out a little bit. my brush off, kind of, and then go on the other eye. Okay, guys, what do you think? Does that look totally stupid? Or does it look blended? I don't know. I can't really tell. All right. Now for the true test. Time for the eyeliner. And this really makes me nervous. <laughs> All right. So... I am going to use my Maybelline Master Precise uh, in black Noir. It's got the really sharp point. And let's, let's do this thing. 
if I should bring you in farther for this. There. Okay. My problem is I blink so much. Okay, so so you bring it out. Oops, see my stupid finger in the way, and you kind of go up. Well, that doesn't look very good. It's very wide. That does not look very good. Okay guys, tell me what I'm doing wrong here. It's way too wide right here, isn't it? Way too wide. Okay, let's try this other eye, and I'm worse with this eye, so... good with this. That's why I don't do it. It's really hard to see this side. I need a little lamp over on my, my left side here. And that one kind of wings a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I, I think I suck at this pretty much. <laughs> Oops, what's going on here? Must have turned my camera a little bit there. Yeah, that's better. Fail. The eyeshadow I think looks okay. It's the the eyeliner that sucks, and I won't be doing that again. I just will not be doing winged eyeliner. I'm gonna put some of this white, this NYX white, in my eye, <laughs> my bottom waterline. Okay, let's go for mascara. I guess I don't have mascara at all. Let's use the um, Black Magic Mascara. 
the one that's in this tube like this. I really like this stuff, actually. All right. Maybe this will make it look a little better. I don't think much can make it look better. I will be fixing that when I'm done with this video. With my hooded eyes, it's just so hard to do, and my eyes are so crepey. And um, this eye was cut, the eyelid was cut halfway through, or all, all the way through, when uh, I was in that car accident when I was younger, and it... Um, What was I going to say? It um, has got this bump here, and I've got a lot more skin. You know, um, less I I lid there, but a lot more skin. Um, if you notice in any of my pictures, that eyelid looks funny. But I'm lucky I have an eye, so I don't complain about that too much. That's that for my eyes. All right, so let's go on with blush. I'm using the blush in my palette. Well, that's what experiments are for, right? I mean, you know, I am not a makeup artist, and I am not a, a person that is good at putting on makeup. So, um, you try and try and try again, and if you fail, don't do it again. <laughs> or keep trying. But I won't be doing the eyeliner again, the winged eyeliner again. I just don't like the way it looks. And I have mascara or something all over my cheek. Okay, so that is it for my blush. And then I'm going to use the same highlighter that's in the... In here. Ooh, and you're going to be able to see this one from outer space. Beautiful, though. Really pretty. Okay, and what did I decide? I guess I didn't have, don't have a lipstick out either, so shit. Um, let's do... Let's do pink... Grandeur, and this is a Maybelline, one of the Maybellines, just a bright fuchsia. Gonna be seeing me in this makeup quite a bit today. I've got, uh, I do believe, four more um, videos to do today. So, except for the winged eyeliner, I'm gonna fix that on the side there. But um, this really bugs me. But other than that, that is my get ready for me or get ready with me for the day. And thank you so much for sticking with me. Give me any tips or tricks that you know of that would help me out. Um, let me know what you thought of the eyeshadow look. Um, truthfully, you know. And the eyeliner. <laughs> I don't know. I guess it's not. 
It could be a lot worse, but I'm not crazy about it. Here, I'll let you see. Let's let's do a close up, and then I'll let you guys go. Okay, there is my eyes. There you go. So I will see you guys. Whoops. See you guys in my next video. Um, if you like this kind of thing, please give me a thumbs up, and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye-bye.